Welcome back to News Geelong. Be a wingman and support your mates. That's the message being delivered around major Victorian football and netball centres by representatives of the Victorian Government and the AFL Coaches Association, Danny Frawley and Michael Roberts. News Geelong spoke with the Top Gun Danny and his wingman, Michael, at the launch of the wingman campaign yesterday at Football and Netball Geelong. The Top Gun, Top Gun and his wingman join us on News Geelong. Danny Frawley and Michael Roberts releasing a new campaign today and we'll go to the wingman. Oh, right. Yes, we are. Oh, 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 yeah, anyway, you. you I'll, go. I'll go with yep. me then. Yep. I'm, you okay, I'll be the top gun. Okay, yeah, okay. Well, you go. We are, and it's all generated the fact that we're looking after uh, kids between probably 18 to 25 that uh, may get themselves into trouble. And the wingman is uh, the person selected. It doesn't have to be the best player in a footy club. Sort of the best clubman that comes out and helps his mate uh, and preventing trouble. It's sort of a responsibility. It's actually common sense. And uh, a lot of the senior coaches, or all the senior coaches have backed it. And if you go to the football and you see on the big screen a Michael Voss or a Nathan Buckley staring down the barrel and saying, who's your wingman? That is our, that is our message to all the younger footballers and, and netballers uh, to show some responsibility and, and make sure that they keep out of trouble, especially after dark. Danny, uh, an initiative by the state government in, con in conjunction with the AFL Coaches Association. Yeah, well, it, it hits home with one of our coaches, uh, Alistair Clarkson, Premiership coach for Hawthorne, lost his brother 24 years ago, Andrew, in a, in a crash, had too much to drink and unfortunately didn't make it home. And uh, Alistair would have loved to have had a wingman around that night when he was playing football up at Ballarat. And obviously it's a hard-hitting message and a, a tough one for him to learn, but we, we wanted to be a proactive message for, for not only football clubs, but netball clubs all around country Victoria. We're, we're on a road trip at the moment. We've just been to Hampton. Uh, the Hampton League down there, we've been up to Ovens and Murray, Gippsland, Sunraysia, Bendigo, uh, Mornington, the Ballarat Football League and all the major metropolitan leagues as well. So we want to make it inclusive with netball clubs as well because we think they're a great um, sporting community, football netball clubs all around, around Victoria. And we want to make sure that um, not only the best players get recognised at, at clubs and winning premierships, but but obviously uh, the wingman is someone who's really responsible on and off the field. And um, what was acceptable in the 70s, 80s and 90s um, is a thing of the past. And we want to make sure that, you know, we can be proactive in the alcohol fuel fueled incidents that happened around, around Victoria. And the, as I said, the state government got right behind it, as of the AFL coaches. Michael, uh, all Victorians are encouraged to participate uh, in the wingman campaign and can do so by? Well, they... Uh, through their football club and through their um, uh, netball club, but also there's a there's a site, isn't there, Danny? Yeah, there is. It's uh, www.champmoves.com.au, and that anyone can uh, join in that one. You can win two grand final tickets to the AFL grand final, make the pledge, and then also. Uh, get a senior coach to come out and the club that they nominate come out and train. So you get a great opportunity to get an AFL senior coach as well. But every league club, we're down here at Geelong Football League today with Lee, um, obviously uh, the, the CEO of the Geelong Footy League. He'll then hand on the packages to all the clubs. They'll nominate a wingman. They'll, the winner will get a certificate and of each club, but the, the league winner will get a $250 uh, cash prize plus $250 for his club, sporting equipment. Then he'll be one of 16 that Ben will have the state wingman competition where there'll be a wingman of the, the year. In, in, uh, they'll be awarded at our awards night, grand final week with the Premier and, or Minister McIntosh. He'll win $1,000 and $1,000 uh, for his club. Michael, we've come a long way in which the way in which we're promoting and encouraging people to participate in the game in the right way. Well, we have. And uh, when you think of what's happened in the past, and I know we get some isolated incidents, but uh, that's prehistoric. Um, we've got to really consider the fact that, well, uh, these things went on. Um, you, you had to stand your ground and you drank too much and rules and regulations, but these days, uh, gee, if you get into strife, you're actually letting down your own self, your club, your mates, your family. You can get yourself uh, terribly injured or someone else. So you've got to show some responsibility. This modern era, uh, you don't get a second chance. And I reckon that's the most important thing. Show some responsibility. And I reckon that's our catch cry. The wingman. So if you see one of your mates in strife, 
Just take them away, and that means that the, the problem's solved. Oh, he's talking a bit too much. I think I uh, made a little bit of a blue there with the pledge. Obviously, you see Alistair Clarkson here that win two grand final tickets, a training session with an AFL coach. It's actually www.facebook.com slash champ moves, or just get on the Facebook and search uh, championship moves on the Facebook to make the pledge for your opportunity. As you know, grand final tickets are very hard to come by. So, um, yeah, two tickets. Two tickets, two that's tickets. right. Yeah. And we think it's a fantastic cause. And uh, I think it's something that a lot, most clubs do naturally anyway. But we want to recognise the people out there that um, really do put the, um, the social fabric of the club together. And it doesn't have to be the best player. That's the thing. It can be like a clubman. It does, does the right, yeah, or netball, does the right act. So it, could, so it could be a runner from the sidelines who's doing good, encouraging yeah, Anything, Anyone that's involved in the club, um, if they're associated with the club, they do the right thing over, over a period of time or one outstanding scenario uh, and save the situation, they're a contender. Could be you. Who would you nominate for your wingman from your day, Danny, Michael? What Robbo was there about. Uh, gee, I had to do some work with Big Tony Lockett. I was his wingman for a while. That, that took some doing. Um, a few of us. Greg Burns, there's a few wild boys in those days. I might have taken a couple of wingmen for, for Anthony. But now you were all... Robert Muir. Oh, no, not too good. I think that's Mission Impossible, that one. <laughs> you were always a gentleman of the field, Michael, so who would you have been your wingman? Oh, yes, I never got reported. I got, had to go to the tribunal three times for being hit. Um, I would probably say that I was Trevor Barker's wingman because he played pretty fair on the field but uh, just got a little bit messy off it, so I always had to be standing by his side. Thank you, gentlemen. And now for the world of expert footy tipsters, we open with Mitch Scoop Cleary. Thanks, Rollo. And here are my GFL tips for round 10. Leopold faces a massive acid test when it hosts St Joseph's tomorrow. The Lions having lost their last two matches for games that would have penciled in for wins. St Joseph's is the form side of the competition and should be too good for the Lions at Memorial Park. In other games, I'm going to take Bell Park to beat St Albans, Colac too good for North Shore, South Bowen over Geelong West St Peters. St Mary's too good for Newtown and Chewell. And Lara over Grovedale. And Nathan Curry's tips for BFL action round 11. He's going to take Drysdale to beat Anglesey. Ocean Grove over Mottawari. Bowen Heads too strong for Port Arlington. Torquay over Amos And Queenscliff at the Cooter Bowl over Newcomb. Now it's over to you, Grubby. Yeah, thanks Mitch and g'day viewers and welcome to Grubby's tips for the round 10 in the WRFL. Spotswood, I think, will beat Albion. We'll go for Hoppers to beat North Footscray. Altona and Port Colts. Altona in a close one. Uh, we'll go for Sunshine to beat Sunshine Heights. And Deer Park to be too good for St Albans. In the GDFL, which is also around 10, we'll go for Inverlee to beat Geelong West. East Geelong to beat Anarchy. Bellpost Hill to beat Winch. Bannockburn to be too strong for the Belmont Lions. Thompson to defeat Carrio. And in the match of the day, Werribee defeat North Geelong. Good on you. Thanks very much. See you next week. And over to you, Troy. G'day, guys. It's Troy Sowood here once again, the captain of the VFL Bendigo Bank Cats. And here are my tips for the AFL and VFL for this week. In the AFL, I'm tipping Geelong to defeat Sydney at the SCG, Western Bulldogs to beat Brisbane, uh, West Coast to defeat Collingwood, uh, Frio to beat Essendon at Subiaco, Melbourne to get over GWS, and Adelaide to defeat North Melbourne. Now in the VFL, I'm tipping Casey to defeat Sandringham, North Ballarat to defeat Frankston, Geelong to defeat Northern Bullants, Bendigo to defeat Werribee, and finally Coburg to beat Collingwood. I'll see you next week. Thank you very much, Troy Selwood. And to the Colac and District Football League, we turn round 11 coming up this weekend, where the LV Swans, who had a good win last weekend, will comfortably defeat Irrawarra Biak. Birragara at home to defeat the Colac Imperials. South Colac, the pouncing, bouncing kangaroos from Eliminate. Easy win over Otway Districts. Lawn will take the points over the Western Eagles. Forest to hold top spot with a win over Simpson. And Apollo Bay has the bye. As we go to a break and return with more sport and weather after this. <laughs> 